Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get and download TSM Trade Skill Master for World of, World of Warcraft. You see a lot of my videos having TSM, so let's just get right into it. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is download Trade Skill Master on CurseForge or wherever you get your add-ons. So um, the one with 43.3 million uh, downloads under auction economy author sapu 94 so that's the first thing you want to do and the second thing you want to do is go over to Google or wherever you search and install or type in trade skill master download and if you play on retail you would download this one and if you play on classic we would download this one right here and they also the app helper as well And then you would just run this, show in folder, click on it, whatever you got to do. And then the app helper as well. But I have all this, so you just run this as well. Now, when it's all downloaded, uh, Trade Skill Master is going to go to your down here at the bottom right. And so we're just going to click on that. So at this page, um, you'll see. Here's my servers. I play on Westfall Alliance. So you're gonna go into settings and you're gonna hit setup realms. And then when you click on realms, it's going to take you to tradeskillmaster.com slash realms. And then you're going to under add realm right here, Wrath, Wrath Classic, you're gonna find your server. Let's say you play on Earth Fury, you're gonna hit add realm right here. And then after a few seconds, it's going to go right here, and then you're going to just open up uh, Trade Skill Master, wherever it went. No, it's already open. And you hit done, and then uh, it's going to say up to date. Go to premium to enable. You can do that as if you want. But you, if you uh, just go ahead and exit it out, and then click on it again. Once it's up, you're going to just see your realm here, and you should be good to go. You might have to relaunch WoW. Don't want to exit. Just want to minimize. It's always going to stay at this bottom right side of your uh, home screen, so just leave it there. If it's if you ever run into any issues with it not working, it's probably because this is not open, and you just got to open it again. Under here, let's see Trade Skill Master, and here's the basic T, uh, TSM UI. So now, don't get too, you know, overwhelmed by this. You're going to go just hit uh, settings and just, you know, as you see, like for this item right here, I have a lot of information under it. Uh, tells me all of my characters I who have, you know, potion of speed and the min buyout under TSM auction database right there. Min buyout is two gold, 21 silver. Market value is two gold, 58 silver in the region. Uh, average daily sold is 906 as you see that um, but also uh, like I said at the very bottom it also shows you how many of each character of, of yours has the item so the first thing you want to do is, for setting up wise is go to settings this is your dashboard here's your ledger groups uh, operations and settings you just want to go under tooltip settings and this should basically show you everything that you need to know when you hover over an item. So like I just did with Potion of Speed, um, everything here. So I would just recommend going off of what I have, uh, just checking what I have here. And a lot of this is default, so I don't think I even came in here and messed with it since I got my new computer. But you definitely want to enable region sale average okay so when you're doing auctions you pick up an item or a boe out of a raid or anything you want to see if that thing sells and region is just like all your servers and if it's actually selling or not so let's see this tick bird hatchling has a 0 0.648 sale rate so yes it will sell but it doesn't sell often if you look at potion of speed look at region average daily sold 906 so this has a much higher chance of selling we'll see let's look at eternals 121 and so on and so forth for uh 
region sale rate and daily sold. Uh, let's see, daily sold, yeah. So you want to make sure region average daily sold is checked for sure. So you also want to make sure min buyout is also enabled. Um, from the last time I looked at this, they had the disenchant stuff on it. Um, it might be defaulted now, but if you look, um, let's see, let's find disenchant value right there, 86 gold. So that's probably the abyss crystal. It might be a defaulted item thing now, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, you can also enable disable tooltips. So now you just have it regularly, and then it's back to normal now. Uh, Vendor sell price, so you don't need another add on for vendors buy and sell price. If you have any alchemist and you look at this potion of speed, for example, uh, towards the bottom, right above my character names, you see the crafting cost. It takes the materials and it does math for you. So, as you see in parentheses, it's negative 15 silver. 36 copper profit so it would be a net loss to craft at the last scan and as you see under the second column TSM auction DB one hour and 28 minutes ago my TSM scanned and you don't have to do any manual scanning as well the TSM app helper does that for you all right from here under you're gonna go to, to operations click on auctioning operations and you're gonna to want to set the auction duration to 12 hours. You can do it to whatever you want. I like mine set to 12 hours. Um, that's just, if you've watched my videos, you'll see that I usually post under 12 hours because I want the item back to post it again. But from here, you're gonna scroll down. And you're gonna make sure undercut amount is one copper and uh, make sure wind below minimum is that post at minimum price so that just make sure that your auction does get posted instead of um, not getting posted it will basically if it's if the vendor is uh, 12 silver 50 copper and it's on the auction house for 12 silver 51 copper it'll still post it at 12 silver 50 copper at that point but that's all you don't have to worry about anything else. Um, none of these really matter at all, really. So for posting, I'll show you how, how I post items and we'll get right to that. So here we are. Uh, so if I wanted to post these items, I would just shift left click them and let it scan. It's gonna scan the auction house for the potion of speeds and everything. Um, I'm just going to say if I wanted to post all these, which is fine, I don't, I don't mind. You just click on the most cheap item and you hit post. And then if you want to post some fives, you can. So um, this is, you know, stacks, stacks of, of five right here. So you'd hit max and it would go to eight. And you hit post auction. Say so if you want to post one, you can hit max here and it will be 43, as you see here. Uh, if you wanted to post in seven, you know, it would post what it can, leaving one extra, and so on and so forth. You can post in 20s and hit max, and then this is going to keep the price as well. Um, like I said, I like to post under 12 hours, so just hit post auction and quickly post them for you. Potion of speed, I got 69 gold work. But anyway, that's just my quick tutorial on TSM. Trade Master. So if you found this video helpful in any way, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll be trying to put out more TSM uh, related content and gold making. So hope to see you all the next one and I hope to engage with y'all in the future.